you guys welcome back to another episode of we Starve. yes and we are in the city of los angeles in the little section between historic filipino town and korea town me and ad are here we are at vaca burger it's latino owned my guy is from ball heights we're gonna meet him but i actually grew up around here you guys i grew up about like a mile away with a lot of different culture you're getting close Right here, you're getting super close to Koreatown. Yep. There's still a lot of Filipinos and Latinos and Mexicans, yeah. but we're gonna try these burgers. Shout out Ish, he put it on right here, so. Shout out to Ish. Me and AD finna eat it up, man. Let's go try these joints. Yeah. Hey, he back there cooking, huh? You ready or what? Are you ready, let's go. Yeah, please introduce us, let us know where we're at, let us know who we're talking to, let us know how this started, et cetera, et cetera. Well, my name's Chef Aaron Perez. We're at Vaca Burgers in historic Filipino town. So this concept started about 2013. And the way it started, it was basically just my love for burgers and shit. Another question, know? obviously you have your own burger spot, yeah. amazing, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. But what fast food is your favorite burger from? Ooh. Like, we have McDonald's, we have Burger King. Fa fast food, fast food? Fast food, fast food. I mean, I would say In-N-Out, but... See? In-N-Out, really? That's my yeah, favorite. Yeah, I fuck with In-N-Out. That's my favorite. I tell you all the time. In-N-Out? Yeah. In-N-Out is elite, bro. It's, it's great every time. Double-double, animal style. That's it. Extra lettuce. That's it. Oh, no, I do onions always. I get peppers on there. Onions bro. always. Yeah. Damn, I would have to go with In-N-Out, too. And another one, I just... And my wife's gonna be like, oh shit, like you're telling them. Since I grew up, like I would go to like the AMC movies, right? Yeah, yeah. And we'd sneak in like McDonald's, like McDoubles. Right? Yeah, McDoubles, yeah, yeah, stuff like that. And then I'd get the nacho cheese, dip it in that? there, and then dip it in the popcorn. I still do that shit. With the what? McDonald's, with the McDonald's. Yeah, that's, that's like my, crazy. That's, that's like my that little... shit. <laughs> no, no, yes, yeah. I will try it though. That's our beauty. No, that, that's like my little like naughty like shit the that I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like food? Hey, but you're a real chef because you talk about food like it's sex. It's real naughty, But I mean, nasty. you know, for me, it's like, why, why are you eating McDonald's? Like, but that, that's what I'm saying. That's like my low key Hell shit. Yeah. Well, this ain't Mickey D's. We over here at no. Vodka Burger, <laughs> man. I like just like one perfect bite. You know, it takes me back to like the fine dining stuff. And that's a lot of the techniques that we do. I mean, this is a real like chef driven burger. If you look at the menu, like the OG burgers, like my my version of the Bob's Big Boys, okay, you know, okay. that old school, the Vacas, bacon Western cheeseburger. Ooh. The only difference is we make everything from scratch. So. We use grass fed, we use chuck brisket and skirt steak, Ooh. yeah. So, you know, it's chuck obviously for the fattiness, chuck. the brisket, it's just the, the nice texture. And then it's uh, the short rib, right? So we use a, a, a a secret blend of it, and then the other secret, I mean, it's not a secret anymore, because I'm gonna tell you guys, uh, we use smoked sea salt, Ooh. right? Uh, so when it hits the grill, you could smell that like smoking it. What is an ingredient that is great on a burger that people may frown upon? That's a good question, because my homies love mustard on their burger. Oh, I, I hate it. it. No, mustard is great on burgers. Me personally, it's not frowned upon, but I love egg on my burgers. Egg some, some is, is fire. Some people kind of get funny about that. Like we have mm -hmm. a, a burger called the Bay, right? It's yeah. bacon, avocado, and egg. So it's the Bay, right? Yeah. But a lot of people say like, that's a breakfast sandwich. Like anything with egg is a breakfast nah, item. Nah, nah. You can because have the fried loves, egg over bro, bro, we've oh, tried man. egg on a pizza before with him. Yeah, yeah. I love That's eggs, crazy. you know what I mean? Let's go, let's go. So we go about to eat everything. Give, me, give us one of everything. I mean, shit, we down to try. We're here to eat. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of fucking food. Hey, Chef, this is crazy oh, right here, man. Right. I'm very excited. Duno, relax, man. I'm, what, I'm, tell I'm us, what do we have menu. here? Break all this down I'll right break now. down the menu. So right here, it's one of our staples since we started. This is my version of like the animal style fries, it looks right? Amazing. So we make a homemade Russian dressing, which is Thousand Island, our garlic aioli, which is the mayo, so six hour beer braised onion, and feta cheese. That's kind of different. Right here's the vampiro. These are very spicy. So I get the meat, chop it up, uh, like carne molida, carne molida, and then I put chile de arbol that we make here. So, so for what I know about chile de arbol, it's like the sauce that only the adults ate at the table. For us, for us growing up as Latinos, yeah, like yeah. there was like the little green and red sauce, and then it was the chile de arbol. Don't touch that one. And the little molcajete right there, you already knew. Your uncles would make you eat it to like make you cry and shit. Yeah. That was like the chile de arbol, so those little are probably a cruelty, yeah. So the pickled onions, 
and then the feta cheese. So the whole thing is like the spiciness, the saltiness, mm. the sour. And then these right here. That's just traditional. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of this one. So any other chili cheese fry, you know, I mean, we all grew up with them. Oh, you know that. But, the, but this one, I feel it doesn't give you a fucking stomach ache like most of them, right? Because we use our grass-fed meat, uh, dark chili powder, some other ingredients, and then cheese on top. Very classic. Cool. Yeah. And then right here, you got the spicy. That's the East Side Burger. So this is actually like my my version of my mom's tacos, okay, right? Wow. So the chile de arbol, the coleslaw, the pickled onions, the aguacate, and then the feta cheese. That's the, Ooh. I always try to sneak that in there. And then the bay, right? We talked about yeah, that. That's our bacon jam that we the make egg. there. Egg, the egg. avocado. <laughs> And then our Baca burger, that's my version of a, a bacon western cheeseburger. That's, that's that beer battered onion ring with that Mickey's in there. Six hours. Yes, sir. And then our award winning truffle burger. So again, our, our grass fed patty, uh, Havarti cheese, garlic aioli, tr white truffle oil. And I, I, we use the good shit. And then all of our burgers, we try to cook medium. Yeah. Um, I just feel that, that burgers just are an injustice. Well, well, done. well done. I know a lot of the señoras no, 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 no. come. So we're talking right now, and what we because obviously me and Ace, two of us, see, we always like cut things in half so we could both try the burgers. Yeah. And you're like, we don't do that. And then he was like firm on it. He was like, <laughs> and it is because of presentation you were saying. Yeah, the presentation. So like when a customer comes, can you cut it in half? And it's almost like I want to say, well, you got to look at it first before I yeah, cut it. But it's like when it. you go to a fine dining restaurant or a restaurant, they bring out the steak and then they'll cut it for you in the back. So I come from like that, that mind, yeah, mindset, which, right? which is great. And it's disrespectful, man, to get well done, man. That's yeah, it. It's disrespectful, man. <laughs> Don't do that. But let's eat. Let's dig in. We, I said we start with the fries first. So let's let's do the traditionals right here, man. Chili cheese fries. You already know. You grow up in the hood. This is a staple right here. Yes, sir. Toast, yeah, toast. Let's see. Fire. Man. It's salty, but it's not overpowering. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm about to get into a coma yeah. eating these and stuff. Usually sometimes the chili, it just makes you feel sleepy as hell. Yeah. You get the itis. Hell yeah. So this is the vampiro one? Yes. It's spicy. Get a nice. get you a good little chunk, do you know? I'm getting I'm getting one here. I'm trying to. Let me try it. I'm always bouncing around. Mmm. Damn, it's just gas right here. Bro, the feta cheese makes this crazy, bro. And the pickled onions, this is great. Damn, it's it. It burns, but it burns. <laughs> but you want to keep eating it though, huh? That flavor is amazing. Hey, that shit, it's not good hot though. It's like, it's not that hot. I, I, I have to say, I was tasting this before, you know, we started filming. I'm, I, come on, Duno, we got to try it. These are the dirty fries. And people, you know, people that are old school and been with me for a while, let me get them extra dirty, right? So it's just like- This is like your version of- Animal style. Animal style. This is one of the best fried dishes I've ever had in my life. I ain't this, gonna this. This is, a, this is amazing. This is shit though, this is shit. But this right here, for me, this is it right there. You want me to cut these burgers? Yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. And, and for, we're just cutting it because there's two of us eating it. This is the Baca burger. This is my version of the bacon western cheeseburger. Damn, this shit smells good. Cheers, bro. Wow. Can you? <laughs> it's a winner. It's good. It's sweet, like you said. Oh, wait, no, mom. It's that shit's good, way. <laughs> That's quality meat, food, and that's important. You're right. Bar, 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 bar. And, and fuck, if I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro, I don't like onion rings. I'm gonna keep it a buck. For let's say I go get a Western bacon from fucking um, take it onion I take it out because it's never made. It's never really because because when you try it over there, it try it tastes like everything else that they fry. So this is, you know what I'm saying? And, and I hate that. The thing with this is very tricky. It, it's very tricky when you make this uh, batter. It has to be almost like corn dog pancake batter consistency anything less or above it's gonna fuck it up it, it will not come out like that dude now are you like the chef for the family parties like do they do yeah they, they always party? expect like Everybody. oh what is what is he bringing <laughs> uncle like, bring the burgers i'm like no nah, i'm bringing fucking you know a takeout or i have a, a favorite restaurant that i go to in the Glen. fucking little caesars for the kids fuck them oh. try this one the yeah the base so it's our garlic aioli again the the bacon jam so i like to 
reuse the ingredients in different ways. That's a, that's a big thing. Uh, feta cheese, avocado, and sunny side up egg. This is fire. Let's do it. I, I want something. I want you to smash the egg. Go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing, AD. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you enjoy this one, bro. You gotta you gotta smash the yolk in that motherfucker, man. And this is really his thing. Like he loves breakfast. Let's see, AD. I'm gonna get the eggs. Drum roll. You know what I'm saying? Drum roll with the avocado. Bro, when there's a burger cooked like this, you can't go wrong. But the egg, fire. Bro, you can tell this is a gourmet burger. This is not your everyday go to McDonald's, eat this, man. You eating this with care and you know that you're getting some quality ingredients. And the feta cheese, that just tops it off. I'm, I'm sorry. I want feta cheese on all my burgers now, bro. <laughs> right? This yeah, is crazy. Like go ahead, Duno. Eat, eat off the bin that. That's kind of like, the feta cheese is crazy. I'm gonna give it a buck. I'll get it without the fettuccine cheese. You don't like the fettuccine? I love the fettuccine. But the avocado? Yeah. Egg amazing, meat amazing. But like I said, the meat already, the one we tried on the other burger, amazing. All right, so let's move on. Spicy. This one's the spicy That's one? the Eastside East burger, right? Yeah. Spicy like the Eastside girls. I'm getting, they're freaky over there. So I like them over there. Here you go. And that's kind of like, you know, I named it the East Side. You know, I, like me, I grew up in Boyle Heights, so it's, it's always like the East Side. And then the, I have the straight out of Boyle Heights, which will taste as well. It's the East Side. That's the East Side right there. Some more avocado. Let's see. Oh, Duno's gonna love this because it's spicy. It just it, it goes together. Damn. Doesn't it taste like a taco in a way? Like when, when you think about it, close your eyes and, and forget that it's feta. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> I like that one better than the last one. I like better than the last one too. For the, for the hey. You know what? That, that's your favorite. Huh? That's one of them. It's spicy. For me, I'll just say like um, coleslaw, but extra chili still. But amazing, bro. <sighs> it is spicy. <laughs> hey, bro, mom. Hey, bro, no comiste si no hay mocos, huh? Yeah, yeah. So my mom said, si no hay mocos, no hay chile. Like, like, my mom and them, when they eat, and they eat the spicy food, they said if you don't like our, like, or if you're not like touching your nose, it's like you didn't eat real chili. Hot, hey, hot bro, This one's real good. No, that's fire, that's good. But still so far, your vodka burger is yeah. undefeated, pop. Check it out. Now, which one is this one? Oh. Damn, we have a lot of burgers to eat. We got a lot of burgers. Yeah. This is the OG burger, very classic, tomato, um, red onion, and I, and I think red onion's always good on a burger. Damn, look, it's juicy. Look at that. You squeeze that motherfucker, the juice is coming out, nigga. That's good. Yeah, I'm a fat ass hot to prepare myself to yeah. eat. What a fat fuck. Mmm. It's good. It's fire. Can't go wrong with an original burger, dog. Yeah. What type of cheese is on here? American cheese. Kraft. Motherfucking old school. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> I say for the the first timers, it's always like the OG. Like that's gonna that's gonna break the barrier and then get you to try that more exotic shit, I'm right? Loving, like, I'm man. loving the OG. The vodka burger is great, but this right here, bro, it just feels like home. Like, it's like classic, like, uh, like just upscale classic. So this one is the straight out of Boyle Heights. So that's a poblano relish mm. we call. This is a mustard vinaigrette on the coleslaw, pickled onions, Girl, and then aioli. this is a chipotle aioli. Mm. All right, The mustard army way. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> if you like it, it's for you. If you don't like it, it's not for you. I got him, look, he liked this one, look. I knew it, bro. I know my food, I know my eating partner. The Poblano is oh. jazz. I mean, listen. The Poblano is overpowering in a good way, though. Yeah. I can taste the mustard, I can taste the vinegar. The meat is cooked perfectly. This is great, I love it. So, so I think that's why I wanted the mustard to punch because I knew the poblano is so like, it's it's very earthy, right? And then when you burn it and I don't peel it, I leave the burn on there. So it's like pungent. This one, this one, this one, this one is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. You, honestly, your palate gotta be at a whole different level. Last two, last two. Man, we're fucking fat, AD. Okay. So how do you feel about brie cheese? Have you ever eaten brie? I love brie cheese. I don't know what brie, that this is. This is French brie. So. Basically, yeah, it's like it's, cave it's, aged. It has like a, it's no. a funk. It's a, it's, a funk. it's a funky type of cheese. Yeah, it's not my favorite on the menu, but people love it. Let's see. Okay. You should, and, and then oh, smell it. Yeah, right and once again, you see that? You see that, that see the juices? When you squeeze it, you can smell the breeze. Smell it. 
Look. <laughs> Let's get it. It's fire. I mean, you just. I like this way more than the than the this. Yeah. I love this. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It, for me, the the cheese is too funky. I can't. And I love blue cheese. I love the stinkier this one, that. This you one, know what? I hate blue cheese. This one's not for me. You got so many other burgers over here. It's not bad, but that one, it's an acquired taste. I like that a lot. The debris one? Yeah, and then honestly, I think it's what, what you were raised, like like the type of food you yeah, ate growing we were, up. I wasn't raised like- You were eating we were, I don't know <laughs> we who raised with Brie. Yeah, so, and I, and, I, and, and I think that's what was cool about culinary school. Oh, I, I, just, I just wanted to learn to cook expensive mm -hmm. shit because I couldn't go eat it, right? I wanted to learn how to go cook a tomahawk so I'm not dropping $150 at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Bars right there. And what is this? So this is our smash. I, I'm kind of like iffy about smash burgers. I put on the menu. I, I mean, personally, I like smash burgers. I put on the menu because everybody has it. Yeah. I, I kind of had to put it. Right. You see? Okay, this, is, this has pickles in it. Yeah. All right. Great. With the pickles. Yeah. yeah. Good fucking job, not for real, so dead ass. These, are some of these burgers is some that you added after leaving Boyle Heights because of the area you're in? No, no. You, you've had all the ones. And, and that was that was the other thing. I wanted to go to the hood and, where and I grew up and, and, try. Try some and let, because ain't nobody gonna go to the west side, right? Where, yeah. I mean, the chances are we're not gonna drive to the west side to go try a burger. So I wanted to kind of take it to them and some different flavors. I had started my own catering company back in the day. Amazing. I came out on Food Network twice. Fire. And and and, and but that's not easy. No, I yeah. came out on Cutthroat Kitchen. I won 10 racks on that. Hey. hey. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Farmer's Market Flip on the Cooking Channel won another five. And you're talking about somebody that grew up in the hood. Yeah. Right? So it was like, so you're getting fucking this money for cooking. Nat, nat, so yeah, so instead of me fucking it off, right, the money and going and flossing. That's in the back. I said, let's start. I told my wife, Let, let's start a burger spot or taco spot. There and you it was go. Just burger. Oh, well, let's get into the. Let's go. This is the award winning. <laughs> let's go. Come on, man. Right? I'll play the food. I, I get why you won. That is bad, bro. I'm glad you chose that for the last. Oh yeah, bro. That was like, you, you just went from fucking Texas barbecue to the hood to Cali with the OG, right? And then you ended up just like on some we bougie shit. We just had a oh, gang of different flavors yeah. in a short sitting. If it was for you, Duno, what would be your go-to here if they had to come here? I would come get the vodka burger. Mm -hmm. With the chili cheese fries. I was, I and, 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 I and, and, and the comments are always like, oh, I do know he's like a kid. Motherfucker, I'm a kid. And you know what? I love chili cheese fries. You know what I'm saying? Oh, actually, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Vodka burger with the middle one. The spicy one. The, the vampiro. The vampiro. So I would do the vampiro and the vodka burger just while I'm eating the vampiro. Some sweet, boom, go back to it. If it was, if it was for me, yeah. I'm going to go to Dirty Fries. And I'm gonna have to stick with that OG, man. The OG yeah, burger is, yeah, that's classic. a classic. Nigga, that OG is, is different. I love that. Yeah, well, Chef, we appreciate yeah. you for having us, man. Yeah, man, this thank is, this you, is, this is great, man. Coming. appreciate it. Man, if you wanna come get the Duno special, go get the Vampito fries and get the vodka burger with your boy in a Diet Coke, cause we on a diet. Hey, man, we just have vodka burgers, man. This is dope. You gotta come try it out, man. Hey, this is We Starving. Like, comment, subscribe, right, Duno? Yeah. Till next time. <laughs>